10 Pixelab editing tools you need to know. And the first one is custom grid lines. Now, if you click on the grid line, there is two options at the base here. If you click the one on the right, you can change the number of grid lines you have both on the vertical and the horizontal section. Now, if you click this last part, this one, you will be able to adjust the number of horizontal and vertical styles. Now, let me use six and six. Can you see? So that is one of the two you need to know so that when you are designing, you can use it to your, to your advantage and make some better design. Now, the second one is about moving multiple objects at a time. The second tool I will show you now is how to move multiple objects in Pixel Lab. Now, if you want to move multiple objects, you need to turn on the layers, open the layers, then let's select some of uh, some text here. Click this first part. After clicking that, you need to tick the boxes in front of the one you want to move. So I'm clicking this four part. So after clicking the box, ticking the boxes, you can now click on this place. Once you click on that, if you click on it now, you will now be able to select different options. Apart from moving multiple objects, you can use it to rotate them to move them in in certain movement, middle, top, bottom, and all of that. And then you can move it gradually. Also, you can hide and lock them at once and also you can enlarge or change the size so now i'll use the relative position option then if i click here you see it will change the position of the of the test now let's talk about the brush effect i will open one of the design i did recently so if you look at this part there is a brush effect here so that brush effect let me show you the layer here is the brush effect so if i delete it now if you want to add it again you can just go to this part after clicking this one this part if you click this part you can now select stickers once you click on stickers it will show on the designs just tap on your design ones and then select the layer the option there can you see you can now enlarge or reduce so once i enlarge i can now copy more to make it obvious can you see now the next one is about using default styles there are default styles but you can save yours as well let me show you this part if you click here You can select styles this one so once you select styles you can browse or save the current one if you want to save the current one you use this one if you want to browse the ones you saved or the default ones you click here so once you click on browse you can select between default and my styles so now i'm selecting my styles this is the one i saved earlier can you see so it will add it directly to your test maybe you edit a test type and you don't want to lose it you can use that option of styles that is found here to keep that editing so that you can use it on other designs now let's let's talk about another thing which is the recovery of autosave now that i have take away the design that i have on my screen i can select here so if you click here these three dots you can have options of recover or to save just to recover what you have been designing earlier but maybe you did not save or you saved and you did not know when you delete it you can still click here if you click here you can still get it back so let's click it and select the time stamp that we think it will be so let me select this one now and click on ok can you see the first part that i used if i click uh, here again if i pick this one it will bring another one so all of the designs i have opened earlier will be at that part of pixel lab so you can use it to save yourself of some headache. Maybe you lose a design. Instead of worrying, you can just go there and pick up your design again. Now, let's talk about using color codes in Pixel Lab. If I want to change the color of my uh, of my test and I want to use the exact color, maybe a client gave me a color to use and I've been to Google. Let's go to Google and search for one of the color codes now. 
so if i open google and i search for a x code for let's pick one of this option for gray now if you want the color this color this exact color in your design you need to copy this x code 80 80 80 hash 80 80 80 so these are other things you need if the x code is asking for the basic figure or digit so this one is hash 6082b6 so 96181 so if you put that in your design is to bring that same color now let's go here and do justice to that so i want to change the color of this part then i will go to color if you need to change the x code click on the dot uh, the plus button that you found here can you see so if you click on that plus button the x code is at the top here so you can click on edit this is the option for editing it once you click that pen tool it will allow you to change the text the figure that will represent your color so now let's go back to the search result for gray it is one two eight one two eight one two eight for gray it is one two eight one two eight one two eight so can you see it will give you the perfect color for gray here is the outcome for the plumbing test so it gives you the color straight away now another tool you need to know how to use is how to extract color from images and icons now let's say the plumbing i want the color on the shirt or on the tool that the the person in the image is holding i will just click on plus button as if i want to change the color once i click on the plus button on the color section of the pixel app app i will now click on this eyedropper tool here that eyedropper tool that i have on this color section will be selected after selecting it then you can browse through your layers that is the upper part here all of these ones you scroll through them and then pick the image you want to pick color from if you are picking the color from the and glove if you click on it it will bring the color if you are picking color from this yellow object that is in the pocket attached to that dress you can click this so any portion you want to pick the color from you just pick or click on it if you see if it is the helmet you click on this part and then tick the box so you can then click ok and it will give you the color that you have on the helmet so now the next thing i want to teach you is how to zoom in and out of your design let me select one of the projects one of the projects okay this one i want to zoom in to see if i am having the perfect alignment i'll just click this plus button here this plus button here if i click on that plus button then i can use two fingers to zoom in and check the options like this place now there is an issue with the a i can go there to adjust by using the padding so to use this to you must first click on the plus button then you can move you see if i did not click on the plus button to move the test but if i click on the plus button i'll be able to move in in and out of the design to check details that are smaller the ninth tool i will show you is how to import multiple images into pixel lab okay now let's talk about multiple image import this one is very straightforward and simple once you activate this part once you click on this part then you can now go to import image now if you click here the import option is there so once you click on it once it will give you one image option to select but let's say you want to bring in three images click on it three times one two three then you leave it it will take you to your to your uh gallery then you can select images from there so let me say i'm selecting this it will give you another option to select so once i click it will now tell me to adjust once i tick the box of this if i tick this part 
that one will be selected it will bring the second one i click this part again if i click this part again it will bring the third one i click that part again so the three will be appearing on your design then you can start editing them placing them where you want placing them where you want and editing them to what you want so i just use this as a tutorial so i'm not using them really i'm not designing anything for now so let's talk about the last one which is project sorting are you with me project sorting now what is project sorting project sorting simply means creating an arrangement for your project so let's click this project part now you have a lot of work you've done but let's say it is too much and you want to pick them easily you just click this part this one at the middle so once you click it it will now tell you which arrangement do you want is it name descending name ascending date descending or date ascending let me click on name descending so it will arrange the design based on the letters can you see n o n e n e m o then m l k i i h g and so on like that so kindly subscribe to this youtube channel and turn on the notification button